Hello and welcome to this course on beginning iOS development. In this video we'll be looking at what we're going to look at, what we're going to study in this course and uh, what you'll be able to do, uh, what you're hopefully going to get out of the course by the end. So first of all, what is iOS? iOS, who was previously called iPhone OS, is an operating system that is used on iPhones and iPads and iPod Touch mobile devices, and it's also used on the second generation Apple TV. It's derived from OS X, and it makes use of some of the existing frameworks in OS X, and there's some renaming in these frameworks, but basically iOS is a version of OS X that is made to be run on touch devices. We develop iOS applications in Xcode, and we use a language called Objective-C primarily. We can also use C++. And in this course, we concentrate on developing iPhone apps with iOS and Xcode using the Objective-C programming language. Now, if you don't know Objective-C, that's fine. We don't assume that you know anything at all about Objective-C. Objective-C is though an object-oriented superset of the C pro programming language. So C has existed for over 40 years. Uh, Objective-C uh, was written as an object-oriented extension to C in the mid-80s. Anything we can say though in C, because it's a superset, we can also say in Objective-C. So Objective-C has all of the primitive types that C has, including structs and unions and, and arrays and all that, that kind of stuff. But it also adds the concept of a class. So it adds syntax to declare and define classes and instantiate them as objects. And again, if you've not programmed in an object-oriented programming language before, we're going to cover that in Unit 1. Classes, though, as a kind of a brief introduction, a class is a template for some kind of object. A class contains properties, which are data, and methods which are operations on that data. So we can think of methods as being uh, sort of functions that operate on the data in a class. And a class wraps all of that up into kind of an abstract idea of what an actual object will do. So what are you going to need? Well, first of all, you need an Intel Mac running OS X version 10.7 or later. Uh, you'll need a copy of Xcode, and this is free. Uh, you can download it from developer.apple.com. And this is the IDE, the Integrated Development Environment, that we use to develop for OS X and iOS. If you plan to develop applications for the App Store, you'll need to have an de Apple developer account. And this costs $99 per year. And this is actually a bargain because in addition to the ability to post your applications on the App Store and gain revenue from them, you'll also have access to uh, information. Uh, you'll have access to the videos that come from the WWDC every year, uh, the Worldwide Developer Conference. And a lot of, uh, you'll also have access to the early betas of Xcode and the iOS operating system itself. You'll also need uh, to begin this course a basic familiarity with some kind of C-like programming language. And other than that, you really don't need anything. So what are we going to cover in this course? First thing we'll do is uh, review the C programming language itself. Then we'll have an introduction to Objective-C. We'll talk about classes and objects. We'll talk about properties and methods. And we'll talk about some important foundation classes that are found in the iOS uh, operating system libraries. <coughs> we'll also talk about some uh, Objective-C constructs uh, like categories and extensions and protocols. And so we're going to have a very good introduction to Objective-C as a foundation for the rest of the course. We'll talk about some important design patterns that we rely on as we develop these applications. And then we'll also talk about the life cycle of an iOS app. We'll 
spend some time on organizing these applications and how they should be organized with uh, within these design patterns, specifically within Model View Controller, which is kind of the overarching design pattern for all of our uh, iPhone and iPad and etc. applications. We'll talk about the user interface. And we have a tool within Xcode now that is called Interface Builder that we can use to build and design these user interfaces. We'll also talk about wiring controls up to methods. And this is also done within Interface Builder and using the tools within Xcode. We'll talk about view controllers, which are really controllers in the sense of our model view controller architecture, and how these controllers work with views. And then we'll talk about the connection of our data models and how they work with the view controllers. Then we'll talk about a special kind of view controller, which is called the navigation controller. So this is basically what we're going to cover in this, in this introductory course. And go ahead and start looking at the videos and enjoy yourself, have fun, and uh, you'll learn quite a bit in this course. Thank you very much.